What is going on Java Minecraft players that play Java Minecraft with Amethyst Launcher? Today I'm going to show you how to set up and use the Vulcan mod, potentially, with your Android device. But before we begin, if you like to play Java Minecraft on Android or iOS with Amethyst Launcher, please consider subscribing to the channel as I'd like to reach 200,000 subscribers or more before March 2026. And I put a lot of effort and work into these videos, which are also in a playlist linked below to help you enjoy playing Java Minecraft on the go. So before we begin, you need to download this application right here because we need to confirm if your device is compatible with the Vulkan mod. Once you've installed this from the Google Play Store, click on open, go to system, scroll all the way down until you see a section that says Vulkan supported, which is right here, and mine says Vulkan supported 1.3. Now, I have heard of some people saying that the Vulkan mod does work with some devices that say supported 1.1, but I'm gonna let you know right now, if it doesn't work, then just don't use the Vulkan mod. The next thing you're gonna do is navigate back to Amethyst Launcher. So inside of Amethyst Launcher right here, you're going to set up your settings. First thing you need to do is click on the settings icon, scroll to miscellaneous settings, Scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're going to see an option for Use System Vulcan Driver, which is a toggle switch right here. Click on that. Make sure that's turned on. Now, go all the way back out. Click on your profile options, which is right beside the pencil icon, and go down to create new profile. Scroll all the way down to create mod pack profile. Click on browse mod packs. Make sure you are on the latest nightly version of Amethyst Launcher, which is linked in the description of the video. And also again, I have a whole playlist about Amethyst Launcher so that you can get Amethyst Launcher set up easily with multiple different methods of what you can do with your Android device. Now search out a mod pack that is created by me called Vulcan Droid, literally called Vulcan Droid. The reason why I named it that is because it's Vulcan mod pack with Vulcan and the libraries for Vulcan and it's for Android. So click on this one right here and select the version of your choice. Now there should be multiple different versions in here. I'm just waiting for them to be approved by the Curse Forge team. Now there's versions of the Vulcan mod that do not work on our Android devices. So I tested 1.20.1, could not get it to work on multiple different Android devices. So I only put compatible mod packs in here that are actually working if your device supports it. Like I said, if your device doesn't support it and it has any graphical glitches like this shown on the screen right now, then you might not be able to use the Vulcan mod. Just use my OptiMobile mod pack. It's all either for Fabric or Forge because Sodium is known to be better than the Vulcan mod anyways because it supports other mods. But if you wanna mess around with Vulcan and test it out, then install this mod pack right here. Go back, go back, go back, and select that mod pack and click on play. Now, I didn't pre-configure any settings or any options for this mod pack, mostly because every device is gonna be different when it comes to like the screen resolution and everything like that. So let's wait until that loads. And then once we're in this main menu, if you don't see any flickering or any issues with the graphics or anything like that, click on options, go to video settings and change your settings as you would like to see them. So I'm gonna change this to full screen, change my max frame rate to unlimited. I'm gonna turn off V-Sync. I'm using a controller, by the way. Uh, you can turn off view bobbing if you want to, your graphics. You can change your render distance down a little bit if you want to. Now again, this is all up to your preference and what you think is best for your device. Device. If you want to learn how to set up your device without the use of any mods, then go check out my video about how to get more FPS with Amethyst Launcher without any mods at all. Now, see as I see here, there are some bugs with certain things not changing when you click on them unless you scroll up a bit. So I, I always suggest like turning off the biome blend, but we can't even turn it all the way off. It only goes one by one. Uh, entity distance, I always turn that down to 75% unless I'm on a computer or on a very good device. And my mid map levels, I turn those off as well. Optimizations, up to you if you wanna use anything different here. I don't use aggressive very often. Sometimes it helps, but I also added the entity calling mod and everything like that in there. Device selector, you can select it, but it usually selects the auto uh, option. This is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 device. It's the Odin 2 and yes, 
Now we can just jump right into the actual world and check out what kind of FPS we're getting. I did put the FPS display app in here as well, so you can turn that off if you want to. But again, this is just a mod pack that I put together so that it makes it a lot easier for people to see that the Vulcan mod is very much compatible and works. But one big disclaimer is that the developers of Vulcan and Amethyst, I guess they don't get along or something or they don't support amethyst so if you try to jump into the amethyst discord and say nothing something's not working they won't help you but if you jump into my discord i'll try to help you if you're having issues again make sure you take note of everything i've said here today because the vulcan mod most definitely works just fine we can also look at our stats if you want to i don't remember what button i set up for my stats uh Maybe I didn't set up anything for my stats, but if you want to see your stats, you can definitely go ahead and do so and enjoy using the Vulcan mod. Yes, this device is getting like 400 plus FPS, great and dandy and all, but I assure you that the Sodium mod is a lot better with my mod pack OptiMobile and it works a lot better in my opinion from my actual testing because i test a lot of devices to make sure that these mods and mod packs and everything work properly for multiple different devices have a nice day don't forget to subscribe share and comment if you have any questions jump over to discord i'm a little bit more you know easier to get a hold of there than on comments and youtube because youtube comments sometimes get lost